In this video, we consider three representations for lines. A visual representation, a representation using an equation, and one using set notation. Let's start by drawing a line. So far, I've only marked two points on the graph, but of course, that's enough to specify the entire line. So, like in the last section, we can represent this curve with a picture. And like in the last section, we can also represent this curve using these other two methods. In the next video, we'll look a little bit more closely at how to come up with an equation based on a line. But right now, I'll simply point out that this form is probably familiar based on your coverage of algebra. I can see that the slope here is 3 and that the y-intercept is negative 1, so I can write my line like this. Let's make sure that this works with the points that I've plotted here. I have 0, comma, negative 1, which certainly works. I have 1, comma, 2, which also works. And I have 2, comma, 5, which also works. So this equation is true when I plug in this point, or this point, or this point. And our third form, like before, is using this new set notation. Here's one way we can write this using our set notation. We have the set of points x and 3x minus 1. Notice that this is really x, y, where y we've rewritten as 3x minus 1. And we're specifying that we have these points where x is some real number. So we plug in x equals 0, we get 0, negative 1. We plug in x equals 1, we get 1, 2. But there's another form that also works perfectly well to write this using set notation. In this form, to be a bit more formal, I should really also include that x and y are both real numbers here. This is an interesting kind of combination of our set notation and our original equation. We're really specifying when we write this equation that we're saying any point on the line, x, y, will satisfy this equation. And that really is exactly what we're saying down here as well. So just like any other curve, just like any other nice curve, we'll be able to represent a line either visually as an equation or as a set. 